data manipulation. What we're going to be doing in this tutorial is looking at how we can add variables together, subtract them, do stuff with variables basically. So the first type of variable type we're going to look at is that of the string variable type. Now, we'll just delete some of this code. We're just going to we'll rename a few things. In fact, no, we won't. What we're going to do is we've got it now basically where it's string my name equals riddler console.write my name and console.read how it was at the end of the first tutorial so let's create another string variable add to, and I'm going to call it add to and this is going to be set to and m right so let's say we want to get the contents of the variable add to and we want to add that to the contents of my name right? so to do this we would do my name plus equal so it's the plus equal add to right? what that will do is it will get my name it will add add to to it and it will store the result in my name so it basically it's like just adding add to to my name so let's run this it says Riddler and M. So as you can see, my name was Riddler. Add to was space and then and M. And then my name plus equal add to. Right. There are other things we can do with strings, but we're going to leave it at the same, just that with strings for now. Um, because I really want to just teach you that more the language structure than the all the individual commands because once you get the other language structure if there's any commands you want to know you'll be able to look them up yourself and understand how they work so let's do some d data manipulation with integers so int and you'll look at a different way that you can def declare variables here I'm gonna have number one comma number two comma number three comma sum like so. Now what that will do is it will define number one, number two, number three and sum as all integer type. So now I'm going to do number one equals 45, number two equals number one plus three, number three equals number two minus number one a number and the sum equals number one plus number two plus number three right and we will output sum and we'll run that and see what happens 96 so there you can see we've done a few things we've done number we've set number one to 45 we set number two to number one plus three we've set number three to number two minus number one and then we've added everything together now we could do let's change this change this to that and you'll immediately notice this error you know like how previously if I was to do the plus equals number one well it comes up with an error where number two is underlined the reason is we've not set number two to have any data in it so basically we're saying add number one to number two but number two we don't know what's there so we can't add so for this to work what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to say number two equals zero Oops. number two equals zero and number three equals zero like so and then that will get rid of the error and you know, you've seen plus equals, we can do minus equals, so number two, minus equal number one. So get number two, subtract number one from it, basically. And I'll run that, and you can see that's 90, minus 90. Um, we could do multiply like so. There you go. We could change that to a divide. So basically, all your operators that you, you, you can use you could do um, multiply equal so just pretty much anything you can think of you can do you can do divide equal so there are all these different types of things you can do with them 
um, and really that's it for the dim d data manipulation very simple and hope you, you, you've got to grips with that